my channel. For those who do not know me, my name is Mianda, Mia, Yanda, Yanda, Queen Yanda, Mia the Dawn, whatever you feel like calling me. I have a million nicknames. You know, do so. Welcome to my channel. Uh, for whatever reason you're here, you know, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you go and click on some of my other videos so you can see what my content is about. Yeah. To my frequent flyers, how y'all living? What it do, baby? How y'all doing? Um, welcome back. I hope you guys have been enjoying these Mia talks. I told you I wanted to be consistent with them. This is video number three. So we just gonna go ahead and get right into it. You see what the title of it is? It's dating. Mm. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, talk about dating. All right. So again, you're gonna see me look down. Um, I have some notes that I want to hit on you know in this video and like I said again with these videos it's just my personal opinion my personal thoughts you know kind of like my um my story and my you know things that I've gone through and that you know the you know those experiences have led me to believe now led me to think you know just how I did things you may have heard it whatever a million different kind of ways you may not like what I say but like I said, I mean, it's my opinions. I'm entitled to my own opinion. So, whatever. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, dating. We all know how. We all know how that goes. Most of the people that watch my channel are either, um, you know, older than me. They may be younger than me, but even then, they're still in the age where they can now date. Like, and it's actual dating. Um, or you know, you're my age already. So. You know what dating is you know how things go and you know how things go in this generation dating uh date like dating nowadays is like it's a task because everybody i again i say i feel like everybody guys and girls are looking for convenience without like the actual um the actual commitment of dating so one thing that goes on in this generation to all my older people that watch <laughs> like all my aunts and not you know everybody one thing that goes on in this generation it's like so common is situationships a situationship is having all the perks and all um you know everything that goes into dating without actually having a title and you're actually not dating the person if that even makes sense to you it's stupid but you know i would say like oh well, i don't want to say nine times out of ten but like maybe maybe a six or seven times out of ten if you see people together they're in a situation shit there's like it's like very far and few that people are actually dating they just end up you know going through situationships and just running around and doing whatever they want to do and then it's like oh you know because i'm not claiming you and i you know saw somebody else bye you know and again i feel like it's just like people just like it because of the convenience and you know the convenience with allegedly no attachment i don't get it i'm not trying to be part of it that's part of the reason why i'm not dating anyone currently because I don't got time for no situation shit. I don't have time for that. I may be 21, but I am too old. I'm old enough to know what I want and what I don't want. And I do not want a situation shit. So <laughs> you see people running around like, oh, you know, what are y'all doing? LOL. They're probably in a situation shit. So that like takes me to my first point, dating intentionally. Like I said, I'm 21, but still, I, I, when I, if I'm going to date somebody, I'm going to date you intentionally. I, like I said, <laughs> I'm going to be uh, kind of open, candid on my channel because I'm telling my experiences. I've only dated one person that has claimed. Now, me saying that I've only dated one person doesn't mean that there hasn't been other people running around. They just never got, you know, the privilege of seeing, <laughs> no, I'm just playing with girls. They never just, you know, got to the point where it's like, oh yeah, I'm actually dating Mianda, you know? Like, um, so the guy that I actually, you know, dated, we started dating when we were, I was, I was 13 or 14. So obviously it was a very long time ago and we dated all throughout high school. You know, I thought, um, <laughs> I thought I was slick. I was like, oh yeah, you know, I got a boyfriend, but you know, I'm keeping all the low. My parents don't know anything. Yeah, right. They knew the entire time. And you know, they just, because again, like, because, um, 
I'm, I'm Zambian for those who are watching, you know, that'd be repetitive sometimes, but you never know. So I'm Zambian, growing up African, you don't talk to your parents, well in our community anyway, you don't really talk to your parents about dating and stuff, you learn from your aunties and uncles. So that's why like with my auntie Mwila and my uncle Byron and her husband, I have like a closer relationship with them on that type of stuff. So like they knew everything that was going on, but my parents didn't. They knew that there was a boy and that I liked him and we were doing whatever, but they didn't know the depth of it. Like, um, my auntie Mwila did for some reason i don't know i'm i'm sorry i'm getting sidetracked but for some reason africans are weird like that and they be like oh no we can't talk about it you have to talk to your auntie and uncle about it and you know those are your people that's whatever that's one thing that will not be coming with me and my children you can talk to me about anything you want to talk to me about because why wouldn't you want to have a close relationship with your child you know but that's a whole <laughs> that's a whole other video with you know generational curses and generational cycles that's you know that's whole tea for that video wait on that video because that one's gonna be the one but yeah so i have like a really 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 close relationship with them they're you know they're they're basically like my second parents but you know they're, they're like parents that know everything you know <laughs> so so um i would you know tell them like oh yeah we're doing good whatever what have you what have you because they knew and you we could talk about it freely and so my uncle Byron asked me one time, I think, I think maybe I was like 15. So we'd been dating for two years already dating. Um, so it'd been two years, you know, together, whatever. And so he was like, okay, so you're dating this guy. You're interested in this guy, you know, what's, what are you, what are you dating him for? And I was like, what do you mean? You know, I like him. And he was like, yes, but what is the purpose of dating? And I'm like, okay, you know, what are you getting at, sir? Because I like him. He likes me. We vibe, man, whatever, whatever, you know? And he was like, yeah, but why? Okay. Why do people date? And I'm like, oh, well, you know, they date to find the person that they're going to marry are you ready to get married no but i like him you know i'm gonna date him and so from then on he was just like all right you know you know that you know the reason people date you know that you're very far from being ready to get married you know that's the reason people date and um you know you're still deciding to make this decision and whatnot and back then i was like oh yeah whatever he's just being an uncle he's just being you know a dad uncle just trying to like talk at me you know whatever and it wasn't until um it wasn't until that i'm like older now like of course when i was like 18 19 whatever um which is like two years ago but <laughs> um you know i was 18 19 i was like oh yeah you know i understand what he's um what he's getting at but now that i'm you know a just even a little bit more older than that it's even clicking more now because a lot of my friends and a lot of like people that are close to me are like getting married and whatnot so it's like oh okay you know we're hitting that decade of age we're hitting um the the um you know the wedding stage and it's not like like i'm not far behind everybody but then also it's like okay so when you're looking to date someone you should always keep in the back of your mind that you know you're looking to get married you know this is the decade i would personally like to get married but you know <laughs> get married in but you know that's like a big g anyway so you know that's like one thing i think about when guys approach me another thing is like what is you know what's your game plan because uh there's a lot of people out here that are dating and they've just been dating like oh yeah we've been together 10 years excuse me don't have time for it cut it like they just again they just want a day and i'm like okay yeah i'm in this relationship whatever whatever without no commitment what's the end game what's the end point do you see, see yourself with this person permanently you know whatever so like now his question makes sense to me it's like why are you dating now when i'm looking at guys i'm dating with the intention of like oh i see potential in this dude we can grow together we can build together we can do whatever and you know the end result for both of us if we really are like you you know being for real end result should be marriage right when i tell you that it's so many people out here that are just like yeah i just want to date just to date and we're just gonna date forever goodbye another reason why i'm not dating anybody don't have time for that obviously 
you know, and like I said, I'm 21, I'm still young. I'm not looking around, running around like every every person I run into, you know, oh yeah, you're, you know, my husband, you're this, that, and the next. No, that's not what I'm looking for. But it's like a big thing in the back of my mind because I do not want to waste my time. I'm not trying to waste, you know, my good years, you, you dig, <laughs> you know. I'm not trying to do all, be, you know, I'm not trying to do do that i'm not trying to waste time and then also i'm i'm not the type of person that wants to just like a date around and date everybody there is not that many people that need to know everything about me and know me like intimately like that that's just my feelings i feel like you know you don't need to date half of detroit to be like oh yeah i found my guy or what, whatever city you live in you know it don't I'm not that person so that's why it's like okay you know guys have approached me and they've been like oh this that and the next and then once I see how I'm, how they're moving it's like bye because I'm not even trying to be about the shenanigans you know with that you know yeah just it's just knowing what you want and knowing that this person has can potentially you know be that or this person is you know straight up bsing or this person is you know whatever so yeah another thing so another thing that i wanted to touch on if my phone will open having standards i put all of these things go hand in hand because if you're you know you're dating intentionally you're thinking of all the things that you want in a person all the things that you want to do how you want to grow with this person and whatnot now the person that you're thinking about they have to meet certain requirements right right so when i was younger i used to be like oh my gosh all y'all be talking about having standards what what y'all are doing the most listen having standards is like basic now <laughs> like you have your standards and if dude is not dude or girl sis whoever you know if they're not willing or up to those standards do not let them in don't let them waste your time don't let them you know come and hit you with the slick talk and the sweet nothings and all that good jazz don't do it don't waste your time don't even open yourself up to that person it's a waste of time <laughs> So, um, like I said, there was dudes in the past that I've um, been in the talking stage with. Again, for those of you who don't know what the talking stage is, those are my older viewers. Older but not older, no offense. <laughs> the talking stage is when you're getting to know somebody. Kind of like a courtship but not as Little House on the Prairie type stuff. So, there's, like I said, there's been dudes that have been in the talking stage, but now they have been left in the talking stage and they're talking by themselves because I don't want no parts. Um, one person that I was in the talking stage with, I was getting to know him, it was, I mean, we talked for like, maybe a month, and in that month, listen it went from oh yeah i could date this person i could you know be with this person we could be great to don't you call my phone again because like in the talking stage dude is showing like you know like basically he's crazy right and so i was like because he'd always he'd like me for some time and i was like no whatever we're gonna be friends whatever whatever but you know through the high of some people that are gonna go nameless i'm not gonna name y'all but you know who y'all are um <laughs> through the hype i'm like okay you know i'll give him a chance so you know i gave him a chance whatever everything hits the fan it turns into a big situation and i'm like nah i'm good off of that you know and so again i'm talking to my uncle byron and he was like okay what made you want to date him and i was like oh well you know i just thought i'd give him a chance and he was like stop right there you thought you'd give him a chance, which means he wasn't checking things off on your list. He wasn't hitting requirements. You were just doing him a favor, you know. That was the first mistake you made. You wasted your time. If the dude is already subpar to your list, guy, girl, you know, whatever, you know, if they're already subpar to what's on your list or your requirements, don't waste your time because you're already you're starting out you know the relationship the talking the courtship whatever you want to call it you're starting it out not getting what you need so mistake numero uno with that dude <laughs> again there was another guy i was talking to um he he hit things on my list and you know we made it and we made it a few months but you know like i said these slick talkers i find out that dude has a whole girlfriend 
listen you gotta do your checks on these people that's why they'll be like you're crazy no you're not check his instagram twitter snapchat ask the questions are you dating someone is someone dating you do you have a girlfriend do you have a boyfriend do all of those things ask them i asked them we i think we got to like we were kind of like basically you know whatever i'm not gonna get into it but he had six months to inform me that he had a girlfriend no such information came up i found out through a third party and you know it was like a whole mess it wasn't a mess to him because he doesn't live here he's not involved but it was a mess for me because people knew and whatever and you know people start asking questions whatever it was a whole mess another guy <laughs> listen these people literally don't make it past the talking stage and they're like yo me i know you be ghosting people because they don't act right i don't have time for it another one i saw him on my friend's snapchat they were at um they were at someone's house whatever i don't even know the situation that's someone's house he's panning the room you know how you doing your snapchat and function i see him and i was like oh you know he's you know cute i see he had a little beard going whatever whatever and so um I asked my friend, I was like, what's the Carfax? Because at this point, I have already had two losses and I'm not, like, I'm taking two L's. I'm not even in the mood. What are the Carfax up front? What's good with dude? And of course, you know, being his friend, he's going to hype dude up. And dude is another crazy person, you know, on the low, which I found out for myself. Um, dude was already a crazy person. He hyped him up. He was like, yo, he got a job. He got his own little crib. He's doing this, that, and the next, you know, big tins, all that good stuff. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, okay, he hit things on my list, you know, whatever. He's cute. He got a beard, whatever. And, um, yeah, so I'm like, oh, you know, if you get a chance, like, put me on, put us on game, whatever, whatever. He does that. Dude hits me up and you know we started kicking it. i think this dude lasted like two weeks <laughs> like no cap i think this dude lasted two weeks and i was like goodbye because he he was actually crazy like it was it was ridiculous first dude i was talking about he was actually crazy he was type to be like under your bed listening to you sleep type stuff like to bundy wear your face as a mask cannibal like your type shenanigans so you know that's whole situation i'm not gonna talk about it whatever um the third dude that i'm talking about he because of the situation with the first person that i talked to he um made me like very guarded because i was like okay clearly you know people aren't moving correctly out here everybody isn't in, in the proper head space and whatnot so um you know it just made me even more guarded than i already was so he um he would start messaging me and you know like oh you know we're talking we're getting to know each other in conversation i'll be like i would ask a question you know you're asking a question you're trying to get to know the person how was your day what do you do for a living you know what da, 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 da. whatever you ask that's you know this is just questions random questions whatever you ask i would ask questions like that and he, mans would give his answer and be like oh yeah like i remember one time he messaged me in the morning because he was answering something from the previous night he messaged me in the morning and i was like oh good morning you know hope your day at work goes well and you know whatever whatever i continued the conversation i don't even remember what i asked him i asked i think i asked him like what do you do for a living or like do you like your job or something like that i don't even know i asked him and he was like thanks no good morning back <laughs> he was like thanks no good morning back i love my job i do da 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 da, da period and so i'm like okay i work as well i hope i have a great morning as well and you know it will just be like it'll just be like weird stuff like that like stuff just i'm, I'm a person that gets weirded out really quickly so stuff like that would just be like all right flag <laughs> like, <laughs> it would just be like flag and i'm like okay you know people all these things and all these flags are like pop pop like they're slapping me in my face and i'm like okay you know whatever maybe i'm just being i'm just doing the most i'm you know whatever so um we just keep talking keep talking and it just got to the point and i was like i you know i talked to um like i talked to sangue and louie and my cousin grace all the time so they knew so i would just be talking to them and they'll be like no you're just being extra you just you know you just still thinking about that one 
um situation and got you messed up and i was like okay maybe i am being extra picky maybe i am you know whatever <clears throat> so it just got to a point where i wasn't interested in him anymore and i was like oh you know whatever i just ghosted him i should have told him you know i wasn't interested anymore but I, I didn't think telling him would stop him from <laughs> trying to pursue a relationship and again i don't have time for like another stalker type dude so i just ghosted him and so i ghost dude he starts following me and unfollowing me on instagram he starts sending me messages again because he still followed me on instagram so he starts sending me messages he's replying to my story and i'm like i'm not responding and so um I think he might have asked one of his friends, I don't even remember, he might have asked one of his friends, you know, what's good, and they were like, what's good, and I was like, your friend is crazy, whatever, and so he just would keep watching, rewatching my stuff, following, unfollowing me, messaging me, and whatever. Like, one time, our friend, I mean, we have two mutual friends, our friend graduated, and I commented on his graduation picture, and I was like, hey, you know, congratulations, whatever. He was the first one, the, you know, dude I was kind of talking to, he was the first one to like and respond to the comment. Why are you watching people's comments? You didn't graduate. I was not speaking to you. So another friend comments on my picture. Dude, first one to, you know, like and respond to the comment. He was talking to me, you know? And at this point, he wasn't even following me. So I'm like, okay, you don't follow me. You're going back to my page to see what's good and you're commenting and doing all this extra stuff. I don't have time for that. You didn't already show me that, you know, you don't care and you know and i was like maybe it's because because he's like from the islands i'm you know not even trying to point y'all out or nothing but maybe that's how y'all get down but things make me really uncomfortable really quick so i was like goodbye you know and that was i think it was the last person i talked to i was just like yeah i don't i don't have time and if this is what's out here to pick from i really am good you know just give me some cats or something like i'm really really good but um yeah so having standards is a very real thing and if people are not meeting your standards don't give them the time of day don't waste your energy don't you know protect your energy just like you protect your um your edges sis do that or how what is it guys protect their hairlines protect it because not everybody deserves a peek into your soul they don't deserve that and don't give them that if people are not meeting your standards don't give them the time of day that's it spare both of y'all do yourself a favor and just you know no thank you i'm good whatever you know whatever you do maybe i could handle my situations better i probably shouldn't have ghosted them but like i said again i don't think he would have taken no for an answer because he still pops up on my page like as someone who's just like watching my stuff because you know you can see it when people do that like oh yeah this person doesn't follow me but you're always watching my story and you're always liking it and liking my pictures weirdo stuff anyway <laughs> on to the next one when you get into a relationship i feel like you know you've okay so we talked about dating intentionally we talked about having standards so now you're actually in the relationship you found someone you um you found someone who's checking off everything on your list whatever your list may be um you know they have the same intentions as you they have good intentions for you you know they're not just using you not just trying to play you and you know a game on you you know whatever it may be you found the person you guys are now in a relationship you passed the talking stage it's not a situation ship you're in an actual relationship you didn't claim them on instagram okay being yourself in a relationship i feel like a lot of people will change when they get into their relationships because i've had um i've had friends do it well it'll be like they'll get into a relationship and it just their life constantly is the person that they're dating you know they don't have time for like nothing else nobody else if it's not the person that they're dating and i understand you know being about your dude being about your girl but like wasn't it the individuality that you had you know prior to the relationship that attracted them to you you know it was who you were before why would you go and change that in a relationship and i understand that you know in relationships it's work you have to compromise you have to work things and do things that are good for both of you not just for yourself but also with doing that you have to be mindful of you know each other like um there'll be people that'll they'll just give up on whatever they want to do just so they can focus on that person and whatever they're trying to do don't do that be yourself keep you know 
keep keep some individuality I, I it's it's painful to me to see <laughs> literally to see like people just become one person they'll be like oh yeah you know i just need my man or my girl i don't need any other friends i don't need to go out with anybody else having guy and girlfriends is a real thing like you need to be able to do your own thing and have your own time and be able to talk to your girls talk to your guys because why like it gets you love a person and whatever you want to be with them but do you really want to be with them 24 hours of the day seven days a week that's the only person you can talk to like the only person you can talk to the only person you can hang out with i feel like if you really ask me i feel like that's bondage like <laughs> like why why would you want to live like that it's just the two of you why for what i feel like it's staying true to yourself and who you are and being you're you just have to find a happy balance you have to find a way to be your individual self your individual true self while being you know in a relationship and there's ways to do that because there's plenty of successful you know relationships where people are able to be themselves and be that person that that person that you know their significant other needs you know because of course when you're in a relationship you like feed off each other you need each other for certain things and it's like you know so and also with being an individual there may be some qualities that you have that the other person isn't necessarily strong with or that they are strong with and that you you know don't necessarily have so those individual qualities will bring you guys together stronger you know collectively but then if you go change yourself trying to be just like that same person so they're happy all the time you know come on now what's the point it'll be like it'll be like dating yourself not saying well speaking for myself i would date myself but <laughs> not saying you know it's a bad thing to compromise or to make changes but just do it mindfully because you are a person for that relationship if the relationship ends you're gonna be a person you know without them don't ever don't ever like give anybody your power to where it's like oh yeah you know this person this person is nothing without me there i'm it you know don't ever give anybody that power over you because whoo it's a doozy if you do it's a whole other conversation there's so many videos i could make about like the little side comments i make but no one has time for that so the last thing that I want to hit on this one is kind of coupled with the last video I put out about you know my story time my glow up um know your worth know it know it friends because if you know your worth then you're not gonna let anybody treat you anything differently than you should be treated it's like um like I said, I'm be <laughs> be open a little bit. I'm gonna be a little bit open. I'm not gonna go into details because you know it's whatever. Um, and when I was in that relationship, like I said, we st we started dating when I was 13, and we um, broke up. I think I was 18 or 19. 18 or 19. I think it was 19. No, it was 18. Yeah, it was 18 because it was right before we moved to Massachusetts. So we broke up in that time span, um, dude. Um, made some like he had some boo-boos and you know because like like i said you know not staying your individual self because i was the type of girlfriend where i was like oh you know i'm not trying to cause friction i'm not trying to do whatever whatever i'll just be like oh yeah you know it's okay whatever um but then you know you come to learn once you let somebody slide one time baby they gonna ice skate <laughs> you dig you let someone slide one time they will ice skate and i'm here to tell you that i'm not going into details but they will ice skate and that's it so it just like it wasn't so afterward but i was like oh wow you know i didn't deserve those shenanigans i didn't i shouldn't have put up with those shenanigans because afterward it took a toll on me and i was like yo what did i do wrong what's wrong with me you know it just like really jacked me up and like the people around me could see that and they because of like how it was making me look at myself and i was thinking about myself they started being upset too and so it just like it just messed things up all together because back then I didn't know my worth i was just like oh you know he likes me i'm just gonna keep it like that we just gotta stay happy or whatever whatever 
know your worth don't put up with any type of bs now i mean it i feel like it's different when you're dating than when you're married because i've never been married and you know divorce is like not anything to play with so i feel like it 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 kind of turn changes when you're you're married like what you deal with and what you put up with but um while you're dating maybe you if you don't got no attachments to a boy bye goodbye you know don't let people ruin you that's what i'm saying don't give anybody power over you because those situations really did mess me up and they really did take a toll on me and like i said in my um in my other video i was already a person who had like my self-esteem wasn't great growing up and you know when you go through situations like that it's like oh my god somebody likes me so you know i gotta keep them no matter what and no offense because I, <laughs> I know i know he watches these um we should have broke up a long time ago like i'm cool now that i'm you know myself i'm me of the dawn you feel me like i'm cool now whatever happened happened you know it was back then but had i known what i know now and like had i felt how that i you know truly knew my worth and loved myself the way i do now we would have broke up years ago it wouldn't have been no six years six or five six year relationship it wouldn't have worked when it lasted but um <laughs> whoo lol yeah know your worth um and also it's again with like as having standards setting standards um like i said there was some, a couple boo-boos right in the relationship and i was just like oh you know it's okay so i was kind of like setting the tone for the relationship i let you slide you know i let dude slide and then from then on it was like oh you know whatever i can do whatever she's just gonna let me slide you know and i just and that's where i kind of like lacked and messed up and didn't take responsibility which i do now because i truly did you know had i not set the tone and said things that were acceptable and weren't acceptable and all that good kind of jazz maybe things would have gone differently but you know um and also we were really young not that you know we're both old now it's just we're young so there was a lot of factors that went into that you know relationship but um it was just was od and your good sis did not know her worth and the result of that was a doozy but um again it's a whole another conversation talking about like the effect of that relationship on me whole another conversation but yeah this is my this is gonna be like a two-part kind of video i want to do a sit down with some of my friends so this is gonna be like kind of a two-parter so we'll we'll see when that one comes up whenever i have time and we can you know sit down properly but yeah also another thing that i really just did want to say y'all are gonna be like this girl has no like no context she's just talking but all my african girls y'all can understand what i'm talking about when it's like okay so now you're getting older and people are coming up to you talking about why aren't you dating da 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 this that and the next you can understand how annoying and rude it is when people do that it just like my sister it's some way if you haven't met her in in real life she's not one <laughs> she's not one for the games when it comes to these adults it's like she's like if people think i'm like rebellious because i wear earrings and you know dress however no sis you haven't met her properly she's rebellious through the mouth i may not look like how everybody wants me to look but she'll you know she'll give you hellfire by mouth so um it's just like always it's always rude and she doesn't like going to certain situations and dealing with certain people just because she knows that's going to be their topic and she's dating someone at that so you can imagine how it feels for the rest of us so when they're like badgering you like why aren't you dating anybody this that and the next as africans as a group of people and i'm a lump caribbeans in it too because they be in it i go to a caribbean church y'all need to learn how to mind y'all business for real mind the business that pays you and guess what whom i'm dating or not dating it doesn't give you a check it doesn't i'm here to let you know that mind the business that pays you you'll sleep better at night it's not 
you know it's it's it, it doesn't have anything to do I, just, I had to let people know at the last you saw the Uzana in California this year if you haven't seen that go watch the video it's my California vlog um <laughs> the first one it's my California vlog um but yeah because they do a question and answer session where they're like oh you know let us know things that are going through your mind i it wasn't even a question or an answer it was a statement i was like you all need to stop coming up to us and greeting us by saying oh why aren't you dating anybody because y'all begin ready to get popped in the mouth it's it's it don't concern yourself you know and i'm sorry to rant at the end of this video but i just had to say it falls into the category of dating mind the business that pays you whom i'm dating does not it doesn't whether i'm dating somebody or not it don't run your check it doesn't i'm here to let you know that but yeah that's i i had to get that off my chest i'm sorry <laughs> but um yeah check out my other videos i i don't think this is gonna be my last video of the year it may be if it is i hope all of you guys have a safe holiday we're entering into a new decade i feel like that's so crazy to think about like when 2010 came around i was like When 2010 came around, it was like, oh, you know, whatever, it's 2010. When you get older and you start like, oh, it's a new decade. You start wondering, am I hitting my goals? Am I, you know, hitting my milestones? Whatever. Yeah, it's a new decade. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry i hope y'all all have a great holiday if you haven't check out some of my other videos my vlogs i have two other mia talks besides this one i will be continuing the mia talks into you know the new year with the vlogs and whatever else i decide to film um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i just really hope that um that you guys like take something from me talking i'm not you know just trying to come on here and just pop my gums for like 15 to 20 minutes it's like that's stupid it's redundant why would i do that you know help people actually take something from this and actually learn from my experiences like i've learned from them because experience is the best teacher i tell you what you know phew if somebody would tell me that I would experience certain things in life, I wouldn't believe them, but uh, here I am. But yeah, so love you guys. Thank you for all your support throughout this year with all of my vlogs. If this is my last video, um, yeah, like I said, have a safe holiday. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in my next one. And if I, again, if I do not vlog or post a video in again, um, Love you guys. I will see you in 2020.